Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, here I will be speaking about .NET and its related web frameworks and different kind of uh, deployments. So, in this video, I will be teach I will be speaking about uh, creating React app and add it to GitHub and then deploy it on the Netlify and then the wrap app. Uh, let's go to uh, command prompt where we can able to install the react app so for the react app uh, uh, i'm using the white js uh, which is create which creates the react app uh, very quickly so i'm using this so i'm naming my project as my react app Once we click on that, it will show some options like vanilla JS, and we are choosing the React uh, framework. In this, we are choosing JavaScript. And then, once it is created, we need to go to that folder uh, CD My React App. Once we go into it, and let's open it on Visual Studio Code. To open it on the code, you just type code space uh, dot. It will open so your studio code with that uh, folder. So, yeah. So once we see these contents, uh, just click Control and Back Tilt, and then you can able to see the terminal here. Once the terminal is ready, then we will be typing npm install to install the packages of this project. So, which will this will install all the necessary components like necessary npm node modules and everything into node modules folder. So, once it is installed, then we can uh, run npm run dev to open it on the browser and see what is the project contents and everything. Meanwhile, I will go through the project folder structure. Here, the SRC folder will be there. In this, this uh, app.jsx, we can able to modify and change the contents and see and see it on the browser. So once it is built successfully, then we are going to run npm run dev so the project currently running uh, running on localhost 5173 port once we click on this uh, url link we will be able to see this uh, in the browser so if we want to change modification and everything we can able to do that in the app dot uh, app dot js folder uh, object jsx file. So here I'm just removing all these contents. Mm. And I'm just saving it. You can see that that has been changed so and the next uh, thing we are going to do is this create react app is completed and then next thing we are going to do is uh, add it to the github to add it to the github you need to like you need to create the github uh, repository so in this i'm going to create a new repository here i'm giving it as a my react app and then i make it in the public and then create repository so once we created the repository it will show some commands here so we will follow that commands and we will push that repository into it so first thing we need to do is git init so once we do that that uh, repository will be initiated with the git commands and then we are going to add uh, 
add our contents into it git add dot it will add all the contents in the folder into that repository and then we will be set we will be having this commit met, commit command so we will be committing all these changes to that git repository we will be adding this uh, uh, we will be adding this these two commands is one is creating the branch called main and one is uh, setting up remote address for this react app and then i'm pasting all these two commands and then we are copying this last command which is will pushes the code into that repository so once it is done now we can able to refresh this uh, browser window and then we can able to see all these contents has been came here so that is step two has been completed in this and then next we are going to deploy it on the netlify netlify is the uh, provider where we can able to host the static web apps and contents on it so i will be opening netlify I'm logging in with my GitHub account, which is already signed up with GitHub. And then here we can choose this add new site, import from existing project. And then we are going to use this uh, deploy with the GitHub. Here you, you can't see that project here, so we need to. Uh, configure the netlify app on the github once we click that uh, that repository is in the was chari hyphen vk folder uh, i have a two-factor authentication so Uh, then we need to choose the repository I'm selecting my react app this is the application which we have created just now and then once we go there and we can able to select that uh, application and the branch will be made and everything will be the same and apply my react app Uh, we can see what is uh, going on with the deployment also in this yeah I think the deployment is as completed and this will generate a URL for us. So we can able to change that URL also. Once we click on this URL, you will be able to see this uh, URL on your page. And also, if we change anything in the website, for example, if I go to this one and hello world, I will change this content. So I will be changing hello world on Netlify. And once I save this, I need to push this to. Git add git commit with a name and then git push. Once this push is uh, completed, we can go to Netlify site to see that uh, CI CD deployment is working or not and go to deploys and it is the site is building now we can see that uh, it is running the commands 
and the cleanup is completed and process is completed and once we go to site overview we can able to see this is published and once we come to that same url once we reference this one you can be able to see the hello world on netlify so uh, the deployment is also completed in this way you can able to create the react application and deploy it in netlify app uh, we can able to see how we can able to change that url this is the long url we have adorable connection and uh, something something is there so we want to change this to something meaningful so i will be going to this uh, site configuration in that we will be having change site name and i will be changing it to add white code so if it is exist it will it doesn't prompt anything and like this is site has been changed successfully like adwaitcourse.netlify.com once we click on this we will be able to see this url works everywhere and the site loads perfectly yeah. so that's it for this video you can able to like uh, this is doesn't charge anything netlify and but we need to have this uh, repository will be the public repository previously it was private also fine but uh, they have changed their their policies and all so we can only publish if it is a public repository only so that's all for today uh, in this video uh, if you like uh, please consider subscribe thank you